Okay, I just want to jump on here for a second because the other day Val in the uh, CF Design School uh, group had a question, and his question was very simple. And let me uh, just reload this page over here, and I'll show you what it was. Is so when you have these animations come in, I have them set one second apart. When they come flying in, they come flying in pretty fast. And he was wondering how can you slow down that transition. And at first I was like, well, I don't know as so though you can. I couldn't really think of any way. But then I was on talking to him about some other uh, problem he was having. And um, I just said, hey, why don't you try this? And we tried it and it worked. And so I'm going to show you guys how to slow down that animation. So the first thing I did is just come into the custom CSS. You'll come over here to settings, custom CSS. And all I did is I put in this little line right here. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so here is our CSS ID selector. And in this case here, this actually is not our ID selector. It is a it is a data title, an attribute selector. But um, so what we did is all of them are called image. So it just came out of the box that they're called image. Um, we could call them image anything we wanted, image section seven, image one, two, three, four, five. You would change slightly how you call it then. But in this case here, because they're all, all four of them are called image, we can call it using this attribute, which is data title equals image. And we're just gonna say here to really slow it down so you can see what's going on. We're going to say, make the transition five seconds. So let's save that and we will reload the page. And what you're gonna see now is each one of those images come in and move over five seconds. And then also they will retain the amount of time between them. So this one here is set to come in in one second, this one at two seconds, and then like three and four seconds. But although they'll begin to appear in the amount of time that you set, it will also then take five seconds for it to travel across the screen. So how you set that up, in case you don't know, is we just come into our our image, we go to advanced, go to animation, and then we say on page load, style in this case is left so we want it to come from the left go to the right and then in this case here for this one it is two seconds now as you watch this you're going to see it doesn't come from all the way over here on the left hand side it actually starts in the case of the left one it actually starts about right here and then moves over is there a way to make it go all the way to the edge there probably is but um, I think if you use keyframes along with the animation, but that's for a different lesson. But then in this case here, I put this to 100% width simply by, again, coming in, identifying the section with the CSS ID selector and then the, the class of its child element inside of it. And then we go width of 100%. So I made that 100% width. And then we're going to have the same animation on that as well when I reload the page. And we should see again the same thing. See here, it starts almost in the middle and then moves over. But in most cases, you're going to have a much quicker animation than that. So let's go in and let's just make that animation like one second. And then it'll go uh, faster, but it won't go nearly as fast as what it had been. And then again, just Google. Google transition because there's different ways you can do the transitions too. You can have them be linear. You can have them ease in and out. You can have them do different things as they go across the uh, screen in order to change the actual speed of it, the velocity of it as it is moving across the street and the screen. So it'll like start off moving slow and then it'll go faster. And then at the end, it'll slow down again if you want to do it that way. And like I said, there's other ways to do it. So I just wanted to show you that. So if you ever wondered, could you change these animations? The answer to that is yes.